What is up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Vivian Day. Hey, hey, hey. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. We're checking out a video here. Uh, it is from Fern Brady. Ooh. She's a comedian. She's Scottish. And this is called Female Comedians Are Illegal in Scotland. Aren't they just illegal everywhere in the world? Because, you know, women aren't funny. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I know. Are women funny? No, absolutely not. Ugh. Female comedians? What yeah. the hell? Jokes. Jokes. A real job. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, you guys. Jokes. For whatever reason, Jabby thought that I would find this hilarious. So he was like, you should watch this. And you should watch this with Vivian. So are you part Scottish? Very, 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 very far down the family really? line. I mean, Kirk. Kirk means church mm -hmm. in, in Scottish, in Gaelic, I think. Mm -hmm. So, or is that what, do you guys speak? Or am I talking about Irish? Gaelic. Anyway, it means church. But um, yeah, I don't have any immediate family in Scotland right now. That's okay. I'll, I'll be your Scottish family. But I've spent a lot of time there. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, someday. I love it. Alrighty, so you guys, if you haven't already and you enjoy this content, or even if you don't, but you just like us, please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Click the bell icon, all the notifications, and please. upvote this video. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, live at the Apollo. That's Very a, nice. This is so Sticky. much nicer than most gigs uh, ever do. I mean, in Scotland, it's still illegal for women to do this job. So <laughs> when I started comedy, I used to walk on stage on a Friday night. It would be all stag parties. Oh. And I would say people would work out I was a woman very early on. <laughs> Shocking. You should Shocking. see the disappointment in their faces. <laughs> I would walk on stage and all the guys would just fold their arms, devastated, as yeah. if to go, why is the stripper talking? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in England nearly a decade and I've still never got that sort of uh, anglicised accent that a lot of Scottish Londoners get, where you sort of make your accent a bit nicer. No. No thanks, <laughs> sticking with this accent. Yes. <laughs> now, as a result, what a lot of my English friends like to do to me is repeat my accent back at me <laughs> on a daily basis. <laughs> I've got one mate, Hayley, she does it a lot. She was like, Fern, this is my impression of you. Hello, I'm Fern Brady. <laughs> I was like, Hayley, this is my impression of you. Nick's leaving me. Oh. He's called off the wedding. <laughs> taking the dog. I don't even like oh, dogs. No. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm not great with English accents. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite nail that arrogance. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great having a posh English accent because like Boris Johnson, he's got a posh English accent and he can just say stuff and people go, seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Where does I have to spend every day fighting for people not to assume I'm on remand for prison? <laughs> oh. That Toby Jug was responsible for Brexit. He's one of the guys responsible for Brexit, which by the way, I wasn't surprised when Brexit happened at all. A lot of my London friends were really shocked. They were like, how could people be so stupid? as to vote against their own interests. I was thinking, have you met most people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most people are idiots. It's yeah. Tiring. I mean, every day it's I get on trains lying. across the country and I watch most people repeatedly jab at the train door button, even though it's not eliminated. <laughs> yeah. This She's is a problem. Wrong. It's yeah. never, ever worked. <laughs> most people have the right to vote too, and there's hundreds of them. You think on that. <laughs> She's great. I went to Belfast for a gig. Now, I love going to Northern Ireland because as a young person, it's the only way I can truly experience what the 70s was like. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. And I got a taxi to the show and the taxi driver asked what my job was. I stupidly told the truth. I said, I'm a comedian. And he went, a female comedian? I was like, yes, I'm aware they're illegal here too in the <laughs> state of Gilead. <laughs> Then he said, the funny thing is, is in Northern Ireland, all our females are comedians. I was like, I know, mate. My favourite one is the character act you have in your country, who appears to be a butch lesbian, masquerading as a straight woman, in charge of the DUP. The most homophobic <laughs> political party in the UK. I mean, Jesus Christ, Carleen. Uh, wow. Come out already. Hit hard. <laughs> 
If you don't know who the DUP yeah, are, they're, they're a Northern Irish political party. They hate women and gay people, yet they're run by a stone butch lesbian who doesn't seem to know it yet. <laughs> Ouch. Isn't that always the way? Gay always. Gay marriage is illegal in Northern Ireland, and the DUP support this, and they always come out with fictional reasons against it, because you can never say the real reason you're homophobic, which is always, I really want to try gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Local homophobes are gay in the end. It's just a waiting game. Yeah, self-hatred. <laughs> Glad we put biding my time for that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've been doing material on Arlene Foster and the DUP being homophobic, and the DUP found out about it. <laughs> and the way oh. I found out about this was there was a newspaper story with the headline, DUP demand apology from comedian over gay jibes. They meant me, <gasps> my first scandal in comedy. Oh, amazing. A big moment for any young comedian. <laughs> now my agent, who I've said I'd be on good behavior for, he was like, do not go on social media and say anything to the DUP. Mm -hmm. Stay mm -hmm. off Twitter and Facebook. I was like, Chris, can I have one tweet? Just one tweet. He went, fine, you can have one tweet. I went on Twitter. I was like, I will apologize to Arlene Foster as soon as she licks my vag and looks disgusted. <laughs> I'll say no more, I'm a very private person. <laughs> <laughs> really annoyed me though, because the way I found out about the story was a guy uh, tweeted me, a guy had read my stand-up routine in the newspaper, always the best way to experience yeah. live comedy. <laughs> my personal favorite. And he tweeted me saying, how dare you say Arlene is gay just because she's a homophobe, butch lesbians are never a punchline, stay in your fucking lane. Presumably meaning the heterosexual thing. <laughs> well, I'd been saving this up for some time. I said, mate, if I hate butch lesbians, someone needs to tell all the butch lesbians I've dated, because I'm a bisexual. Game, <laughs> set, and match. <laughs> I hate saying I'm a bisexual, right? Because I know people either hate us or they don't believe in us, but yeah. I love winning so arguments weird. on Twitter. So that was how I came out as a bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. This is how I'm coming out as a bisexual to my parents on television. Ooh. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Surprise! Wow. <laughs> how great. Wow. That's sweet of you, man, because it's rubbish being bisexual. We're the worst kind of sexual, because the nature of being bisexual is people don't believe in you. Like, when it's you're so dating a man, people think you're straight. When yeah. you're dating a woman, people think you're a lesbian. And I can't beat this guy. See, when this guy on Twitter said, you're not part of the LGBT community, I actually thought, God, I, maybe I do hate gay people. And I had to go... No, Fern, because you had gay sex that time with that woman and gay sex that other time with that woman and very gay sex <laughs> that time with the two women that made you feed their Rottweilers the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't a euphemism, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't beat this guy on Twitter because he had a go at me. The only because I, I go out with a guy now, and you can never be demonstratively bisexual in a monogamous relationship yeah. unless I have a three-way, which I'm not doing with the guy I go out with now. He'd only embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> you please stop crying. <laughs> Put the kettle on or something. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Let the adults like, work. The devil's advocate with me over the bi thing. He was like, oh. Well, a lot of people don't like bisexuals because they think you're going to leave for someone of the opposite gender. And I was like, I have news for you, pal. Everyone leaves in the end, whether it's for a man or a woman or the sweet embrace of death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Fact. end. Fact. Fact. Check. In the end. Check. No, that's so funny though about like the bisexual it's thing so because it's like me. people say this a lot. Well, from what I've heard, bearing in mind like I'm, I'm very like removed from the community. Okay, this is scary saying this on 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 YouTube because I'm sure people are gonna like, at me. But educate me with love, please. Even within the community, people are kind of wary yeah. of bisexuals because it's like pick one, pick exactly, pick a lane, pick one. 
Yeah. You're not real. Isn't the B in LGBTQ? B- LGBTQ. LGBTQ. Like, yeah. Isn't that in there for yeah, a reason? Yeah, it's in there for a reason. But like she says, it's like if you're dating a man at the time, it's like, well. Pansexuals, I mean, depends on the individual, right? I think so. so if I get a little accept, bit confused. Yeah, I think it's just like, I don't have a preference for I just a female. Love I, mean, I just the love person. the person. Yeah. You know, um, however they come, you know, whatever they identify with. So if you can accept that so readily, why is bisexuality so? So weird. Why? <laughs> more love to go around. Exactly. Maybe it's just that fear that they ride on that there's more temptation. Yeah. It's like, that's why. Well, it's kind of like the argument of like, oh, you know, like, oh, you would just be more promiscuous. You would want to like go out with a woman instead of a man or whatever. And check everyone out. And check everyone out. But it's like, but hello. Do you check everyone out? Yeah. Are you even no. doing that? Like, do you want to have sex Are with every predator? single person like, that you see? Yeah. Like, that's no. That's not how it works. Yeah. Anyway. We love you. <laughs> Our boyfriend went. It was a phase. What dating women was a phase. You know it was a phase. You're with me now. I'm like, bitch, oh God. I pumped more women than you, which wouldn't ah. be hard given you're an Irish man, you oh. virgin. <laughs> that would I do only it. go out with Irish guys, right? I sometimes do a Narva. Oh, they're great, aren't they? <laughs> I do Narva and Irish as a palate cleanser, but it's not the same. Because <laughs> I love how dirty their accents are, but once you get them in bed, they're all, what's going on, miss? Oh. <laughs> How proper? Just like farmers in a porno or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual purity about them that is mwah. Killian Murphy. I was pumping this Irish guy once and he started coming out with all this dirty talk and I was like, ugh, this one's broken. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so distasteful. <laughs> the flip side of that innocence is they can be very misogynistic. And the last time I was in Northern Ireland, I was with a female friend and a drunk guy for no reason cat called us. And he shouted at us, I chag you up the arse and I chag her up the arse. And I was so offended. But then I thought, oh yeah, you'd have to in Northern Ireland because you still don't have legal abortion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Ding. country. In Northern Ireland, they just have to pretend they love boat trips to Liverpool forever. <laughs> What's that, Jenny? Off to Liverpool again? Fourth time this year. <laughs> just the Beatles Museum. <laughs> <laughs> I only go out with Irish guys and I don't date outside my class. I never date outside my class. I don't care if you think this is judgmental. Maybe you think that love crosses all boundaries. What about Kate Winslet and him out of Titanic? Well, I'll tell you what happens at the end of Titanic. The poor person drowns because the rich person is hogging all the resources. <laughs> there was room wrong. on that wardrobe door for two and she just let him slip off and drown in the sea. Yeah. Dating outside your class don't work. I've done it before. I went to a very posh university. I went to Edinburgh. Don't know if you know it. It's like Hogwarts. There's a lot of specky yeah. versions. It of is Hogwarts. Stuff rich people. <laughs> now, I went out with a posh guy. I'm not having a go at posh English people. If any of you are in, I love how jolly you are. I love your limitless sense of entitlement. You're great. <laughs> <laughs> Posh Scottish people are the worst. They hate other Scottish people. I went with a posh Scottish guy. Should have known he was posh, because first off, his name was Lyle. <laughs> no, no one where I'm from in Scotland has names like Lyle. I'm from a town a called Bathgate, where everyone looks like they've been carved out of boiled ham and rolled around in stubble. Mm. <laughs> and wow. Yeah. If you're a boy in my town, you get one of three names. You're called John, Paul, or John Paul. <laughs> Good Catholic names. Mm. <laughs> I feel really self-conscious in heels at this gig. I don't like wearing heels at gigs because uh, I'm a pretty tall woman and I want, it was hard telling you I was bisexual earlier, but I also want to tell you I'm in an even more taboo relationship than that. I'm in a tolly, smolly couple. Yeah. Right? Oh. Small king. My boyfriend is tit height, shoulder height when <laughs> he wears his little walking boots, which he sometimes does for a treat. <laughs> it's awkward being this tall, man. There's a lot of tolly, smolly couples in tally Scotland. Small. Um, I mean, I get off a train at home, I feel like I've stepped in at Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is that 
child smoke it. Oh, no, oh, no, yeah, it's one yeah. of Glasgow's tiny wizened men. <laughs> <laughs> and I get mistaken for a guy a lot at oh. home, and I didn't realise this was happening initially. Like, I got called sir in the supermarket, and I just thought, finally, people are showing me the respect I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> a big hands for a biological woman. Look at the size of that man. Big hands. My boyfriend <laughs> feels like he's being wanked off by a roofer. <laughs> I think we incorporate this into role play where I'm Snow White and he's one of the seven dwarves <laughs> left alone. <laughs> Grumpy, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> anyway, guys, you've been amazing. I've been fair <gasps> pretty. Tonight. Oh, that was she's really great. good. She's great. She doesn't pull any I'm punches. I'm a fan. She's awesome. Yeah, no, she's she's really really funny. I super enjoyed that. Yeah, just yeah. like her her quips as well, and yeah. then suddenly like making it you know a little bit political, yeah. but super funny. She I really like that. Feels very homey too. Like I just want her in my house all the time. Just like mouthing off <laughs> I know I love her accent too my, mm -hmm. my brother-in-law is uh, also from a town near Glasgow mm. and the thing she said that her friend did when when her English friend does the, the, the Scottish her. accent I was like guilty does that guilty <laughs> I've done that except that for whatever reason when I do it it doesn't sound like Shrek but when I when I copy my, my brother-in-law's accent I just go because I just I love how he answers the phone. He goes like, hello, this is Jordan's phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which, he does not sound that high pitched at all. I'm like, that went Swedish there. <laughs> like, Nordic. Do, I'm like, hello. <laughs> that's exactly what, to me, that's what he sounds like. It's like, hello, this is Jordan's phone. Hello, this is Achara. <laughs> I'm like, uh, but yeah, you know, he's great. And um, it's she's so great. infectious. How, would, how do you not? <laughs> exactly. How do does you that not? annoy you? Do people do that to you ever? Yes, it only annoys me when it's bad. So fair, fair enough. So like, if you if you're doing an English do accent well. and it's actually good, I'm like, cool. All I'm right. fine with that. But when it's like not, I'm like, Shut up. no, please. <laughs> but then I have to. I wish I could be more like her and just be like upfront. But I'm like too concerned with being nice. So like, when someone does a bad English accent and they're like, oh, how was that? And I'm like. You did a thing. <laughs> well done. Good well, job. What would be a very like, I feel like English humor is so funny sometimes because it's so like F you, but like done so politely. <laughs> what would that equivalent be? Where you're like, hmm. uh, oh, like if I was just, I'd probably be like, nice try. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, it just, hurts. It just, it hurts, just hurts a little bit. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice try. Good job. Well done. But then I think that's also why sometimes, like, especially with people that I hang out with a lot yeah. and that I'm close to, like, Jabby will be like, are you being facetious or are you, like, being, like, genuine? I'm like, no, no, genuinely. Good job. <laughs> Somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> exactly. No, but Fern Brady, Fern Brady's awesome. Um, I'm a big fan. Really, really funny. Yeah. For being a woman. Just kidding. Just, no, I mean, she's the like, bar was not that high anyway, so she's all right. <laughs> she's legitimately, like, really, really funny. I love she's her, like, really raunchy humor as well. Yeah. She's not afraid to, like... Her delivery is very clean, too. Yeah. Just and smooth. So deadpan as well. You have to pay attention. Yeah. Otherwise. I really, really enjoyed that. So, yeah. guys, um, if amazing. that was your first time watching Fern Brady, go and fall down a rabbit hole of, like, finding her videos on YouTube and stuff. Send uh, them to us. Send them to us it's if you find some good ones. ones. And um, obviously this one is going to be linked in the description as well. Also, if there are other comedians that you would like us to check out, please leave them in the comments below and we will see you next time. I'm Achara Cook. This is Vivian Day. Ciao.